What's good? We back. We double dipping with the Detroit Lions talk. Back with the C Lions talk. Your boy CJ Goodfella. I'm working on on the podcast right now. You know, uh, you know when I finally do it, I do another video so you guys can, uh, you know, get the link down. It's probably gonna be through a uh, Castbox, I think it is. And um, so I definitely let y'all uh, know about what's going on with that when the next video I drop should be tonight. You could join that gang, gang podcast, gang man. And um, we'll talk all Detroit things on there, man. And uh, but we back talking about Ezekiel, Ezekiel Ansa, Z- Ziggy with it. Now a lot of people want Ziggy to come back or don't want to come. Some people don't want him to come back. Um, you know, it's been questioned about his ages. We are age. We already talked about all that. But if the Lions fit, oh, uh, Lions go to a three-four. Excuse me. How would Ezekiel Ansa fit in a three-four? Now, um, now if you told me this when he was coming out. Um, I definitely would be like, yeah, I definitely can see him fitting. I think he's a better athlete than Tamba Hali, um, who, you know, fits in a 3-4 as well. And the thing about 3-4 is, is your outside linebackers are essentially rush ends because you don't want one linebacker to be known as a cover linebacker and the other li- linebacker to be a rush linebacker because you want them to be able to do both, be able to drop in coverage and rush. And that's the difference between a, 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 defensive, a 4-3 defensive end and a stand-up 3-4. If they know they're rushing every time, you know, you know, you know, a base four three four package, then um that that kinda, you know, tips the hat off and it gives the offense an advantage. So you want him to be able to to to, to you know to drive, you know, in coverage, drive back and, and go get the quarterback as well, you know. And it depends where he, he his he their his their evaluation of his physical health is. Now if he's still healthy and he's still fast and quick and they're pretty sure his age is what they say it is and it's not, you know, thirty five, thirty six like some, you know, some people insinuated it was because he didn't have an up-to-date birth certificate. Uh, you know, if they feel like he's still athletic, he still can get out there, he still got those fast-switch muscles, then I guess, you know, you would bring him back. You know, it is an experiment. It's a gamble if you're going to pay him top 10, top 5 uh, defensive end uh, outside linebacker money. You know, because if you you find, you, you really want to switch to a 3-4 and you sign this guy thinking that he can do it and he can't do it, you know he ain't gonna be able to play no no defensive end in a, in a in a four three in a three four, you know the real down lineman because he ain't big enough to to, to take on those double and triple teams, and uh, obviously he ain't athletic enough or he ain't uh, athletic enough to slide to the middle linebacker position either. So you want to make sure when you're making this decision, you want to be able to uh, you know get your team, your coaching staff, and evaluate his tape, his physical health, and see if he has those loose them, them hips are loose enough. And he understands coverages, and he can just do basic drops, you know. Um, you know, maybe he can go to the flat. Maybe he can drop into the, the hook, you know. Or maybe can he, can he man cover a little bit just enough just to know what you're dealing with. And if, he, and if he, you don't feel that he passes that evaluation, you know, either, you know, if you value him as a big commodity for this team and you want to build your defense around him, then you have to go more to a 43 look. Now, the 4-3 and the 3-4, you know, Matt, Matt Patricia, who's going to be introduced at the Lions next coach next week after the Super Bowl, he runs a hybrid. He can run both. He's just not limited to one or the other. So they got to figure out if Ezekiel answer is the answer, you know, is the answer, you know, to what they're doing here. You know, do they want him to – are they going to run a hybrid 3-4 where they can move him around and rush him from different areas, kind of like a psycho package with him standing up and moving around the line – and running a hybrid 4 3 3 4, which I think they're going to do. I think it's going to be a hybrid 3 4 4 3. Um, but it's up to them to make that evaluation. Now, like I said, if you telling me this this is the guy, the fresh Zeke we got out of college, yeah, I think you can mold him. I still think, you know, mentally he can mold and do more things than what he's what he's asked to do. He just wasn't healthy this year. And they believe he's not damaged good. He's healthy enough. I pay him. I mean, because he showed without a Dominic suit that he can have a 15 sack season to dominate the line without too much help. So he showed you that he ain't a product of playing with other great players. He can be a one-man show by himself. He showed you the athletic ability, the speed, the quickness to come around the edge. He showed you the football acumen to be able to get up to speed and not knowing much about the sport for a long period of time. He showed you each year he's improved when he's healthy. I like the guy. You know, I really do. I want him to stay here. I want him to get paid. I want him to be here when we have some success, more success in the playoffs. So I'm down with the Ziggy. You know what I'm saying? But your evaluations got to tell you if this guy wants to make a – hopefully this guy, Matt Patricia, is not trying to make a square peg, peg fit in a round peg hole. You know, if this guy ain't what you, what you need in the 3-4 end, then it is what it is. But I've known New England to have a lot, you know, slower outside linebackers, a lot less athletic linebackers, and they made it work. You know, so 
Um, they not just predicated on edge rushers. You know what I'm saying? They had Richard Seymour, who's a defensive end that, that made some havoc getting up the field. I mean, you can't really name a lot of the outside linebackers they had. I know Chandler Jones, you know, he did it. But I think Ezekiel Ansah is a better fast twitch athlete than Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones ran like a 4.6. His speed is comparable to Ezekiel Ansah and all that. But he was able to drop as well. So, you know, I think if they do go to a 3-4, which it would be a 3-4-4-3 hybrid in my opinion, I think that's what's going to happen. I think Ezekiel Ansah is, is definitely the answer to them in that front seven. If you got somebody that can get after the quarterback – and that's as athletic as, as athletic as as he is. Excuse me, a little bit under weather. You you gotta sign him because guys that's that athletic and everything. Check out health wise. You don't see them walking around this planet Earth like that. Be able to uh, learn and catch on to the sport like Ezekiel Ansa has, has done. You know, I, I'm keeping Ezekiel Ansa. You know, if he's healthy, you still think he's the athlete, and he's still going he's still gonna improve because he's getting better and better and better. It's just the injuries that's hampering him a little bit. You get him some help on the other side and in the D line. I can see a 20 sack season, you know, out of that defense with Matt Patricia with him. He ain't really had no line, no rushers like Ziggy other than Chandler Jones and a few more, but it is what it is. We gone.